The Super Mario 64 120 star task was submitted on YouTube on November 24, 2012, having been made by at least 15 different tasses. It was made using the best techniques at the time. It was fairly straightforward and the routing was pretty simple to understand due to the lack of complicated glitches, not to say that the task wasn't anything but amazing. Today, however, there exist glitches and techniques that few or literally only several people in the world completely understand, one glitch of which being parallel universes, which alone has caused a large amount of anticipation for a new updated 120 star task of Super Mario 64. Although no one is currently working on a new task for a variety of reasons, such as an incomplete number of levels being improved upon by using new glitches and techniques, there are a few people considering and playing with the idea of starting to route a new 120 star task. I am one of the few people who decided to play and test a few things, and as new updates occur, I want to share with you some of the cool things we discover along the way. Today I want to talk to you about the start of the routing of the new 120 star task. Unlike the old task, it is currently theorized that collecting the vanish cap under the moat star first using the same method as the one key task is fastest, as we believe it eliminates a lot of unneeded routing. What a few people have been discussing is what would be the fastest movement after collecting the Vanish Cap star, assuming it was the first. We have two options, one of which being extremely fascinating. The first method is to swim around the moat and enter the castle, possibly by means of BLJ. The second method is by saving and exiting the game, reloading the save file, and then entering the castle. From my tests, I have enough reason to believe that the second method is the fastest. What this means is that if the Vanish Cap star is the first star of the TAS, then it will be the first time ever that exiting the game to the file select screen is a TASing strat. Currently, there isn't enough route planned to fully assume that the Vanish Cap route is the best option to start the TAS. Although it is most unlikely, no one wants to jump to conclusions. One thing this will eliminate is the need to drain the moat to access Vanish Cap under the moat, which will probably save a small but significant amount of time. As I said, this is still all a theory and still not completely thought through, but it is extremely fun to think about now, isn't it? I hope you all enjoyed this mini 120 star route theory. I don't know if I'll be making any more videos like this due to the possible lack of surprising routing updates and the tiny amount of routing actually being done. Nonetheless, feel free to subscribe for more videos in the future. My name is Time Troll Penguin and I really appreciate your ever-growing support.